Tonight, three finalists to be the next leader of Columbus City Schools have now been cut to one. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Yolanda Harris. Andrew has the night off. Well, just three hours ago, the Board of Education made its decision at tonight's special board meeting at Mifflin High School. New at 11 tonight, 10 TV's Richard Solomon was there and tells us who was picked. Yolanda, a familiar face is now the superintendent officially for Columbus City Schools. The board tonight announced that Dr. Angela Chapman is the person for the job, and this was a decision they all support. In a unanimous decision. I want to welcome Dr. Angela Chapman back to the stage. Dr. Angela Chapman picked as the next superintendent for Columbus City Schools. It was overwhelming, right? Um, it was just really a culmination of a lot of hard work. Dr. Chapman served as interim superintendent a position she knew she was ready for. Certainly stepping into the role, I knew that it would be a heavy lift, um, but certainly uh, that heavy lift was no match for the passion that I have for the students and our district and our community. Each board member picked Dr. Chapman because of that passion and willingness to improve the district. It's something others are pleased with also. Right now, I just want to bask in our new superintendent. Nana Watson is the president of the Columbus branch of NAACP. Last week, they filed a no vote of confidence because of what they claim as the board's lack of transparency and misuse of $250,000 during the search process. I say we do not need to pay a law firm $250,000 with taxpayer monies. We're still going to pursue that. But again, we need to salute our new superintendent. Board members did address the claims. We respect their, their mm -hmm. decision. We, we respect where they stand. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, um, we've got tremendous work to do moving forward mm -hmm. to ensure that our children are highly educated, prepared for leadership and service. But all can agree the focus should be on Dr. Chapman because she's ready to take the district to higher heights. This work is a my mission and my way of serving our community, and certainly um, I'm looking forward to the opportunity. And the board says next they have to work out a contract for Dr. Chapman as superintendent. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this process. For now, reporting in Columbus, I'm 10TV's Richard Solomon.